Hi everyone, this is Alaire Games, and today I'm watching episode 2 of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Uh, last episode was great, we met this Sundari dragon, he got a bunch of skills and ate a bunch of stuff. He also died by being stabbed by a guy who was just running around trying to stab someone. And, uh, you know, one cool thing I noticed right now in this episode is that it starts out with the opening. Oh my god, I love when they do that. I always appreciate it because it's so much easier to skip. You always know exactly where you're supposed to go. So, I, that's great. Every show should do that. <laughs> because normally they only have, they have clips in the beginning, then the, the opening, and then they continue, and, uh, ugh. But, um, yeah, so this episode, he's probably going to talk with his dragon a bit more, his dragon buddy a bit more, because they're friends now. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's going to explore and meet some goblins, which I assume are not going to be horrible. Or maybe he'll kill them and get even more powerful somehow. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> you know, in other, uh, <laughs> in other uh, shows or series like this, uh, most of the dragons that the main character meets end up turning into hot girls later, but I don't think it's going to be the case with this one. <laughs> Hmm. So it came from him. Okay, so I guess maybe sealing something isn't that bad as a technique. Can I do that? Oh, it can. Oh, okay, never mind, it can't. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> that dragon is great. <laughs> you what? How? Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, he did say he was uh, turning everything he was consuming into potions, so it's like some sort of inventory with infinite space or something, so I guess it's possible for this dragon to be inside of his stomach and be fine, I guess. Yep, he's just lonely. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, so they're like brothers at this point. What? I bet he does. Ha, I knew it. <laughs> That's uh, something. Something's happening. I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> Whoa! I was wondering how he was going to get him, but okay. That works too. Dang! That's already completely overpowered. So can he talk to him? Like, while he's in his stomach? Oh good, it's not over yet. I was, uh, <laughs> that music kind of made me... Nervous, because it sounded like ending music. Alright, so, human settlement. So was this, was this just brought up out of nowhere, or can they tell that he's free? So they said was sealed in, so they could probably tell that he's not sealed anymore. Okay. I don't really understand how. Also, referring to yourself in the third person is a bit strange there. It's like video game music in the background. Wow. So is the sage skill also the thing that's letting him uh, acquire all of these skills just naturally? It'll probably be explained better once I read the, the light novel. Or web novel, whichever is more translated. You just cut that rock apart.
Yep, there we go. Oh. Don't stay next to the head. It's not safe. Or, you know, you could still get bit by the head. Wow. Oh, okay. How come you were fine just eating those plants then? And those rocks? I'm sure those don't taste that great. Oh, you could transform into it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so is he going to eat a human at some point? Oh, okay, so he mimicked it. Ugh. So far, that water blade is too useful. Like, it can cut up anything. Alright, I was wondering if he could use those skills while he was still in his slime form, and it seems he can. The ones he acquired from the monsters. Heh. <laughs> was a fun little, uh, montage here. <laughs> you could also cut up the stone around it. Oh, it's opening conveniently. Is he going to meet a person? Is it goblins? Oh, no, it's an adventurer party. How many escape ropes do you guys have? Hmm. <laughs> Convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the first thing you think of? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so he hasn't been able to talk to him. He literally ate a dragon. It's the most OP slime I've ever seen. Even more than the one in Konosuba.
Nope, oh, goblins. They don't seem that bad. So they can sense he's strong. <laughs> that, uh, it's quite the voice. We just got out of the cave. Oh, the dragon. <laughs> that guy's voice is so old sounding, it's making me want to fall down in weakness. Well, you really have nothing to lose. You could just gain more skills as well. Really? You've been, like, killing gigantic monsters since you appeared. <laughs> That's a way to describe it. He's going to find a way to hide it. I mean, he has to, otherwise everyone would be able to sense when he's coming. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Maybe it's easier for monsters to sense, you know, the, the aura of other monsters. Nah, you could probably handle them pretty easily. Such so a tragic backstory for these goblins. And it's pretty much all his fault. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't intentional, obviously. Well, 
Well, I guess I need somebody new to worship. They're already worshiping someone before him, so uh, it's not like much is changing for them, honestly. I mean, the dragon wasn't moving and wasn't demanding anything, so I guess there's a bit of a change where they actually have to do something if requested. You guys sound like One Punch Man civilians. Oh no, is it over? No, I wanted to see him fight the dang direwolves. Oh man. This is a f mm. Yep, this is fun so far. I can see why people are liking it. I like the visuals in this, uh, ascending. It's kind of like walking around the cave while also imagining or remembering all of his past, well, at least the most recent parts <laughs> of his life. Which you would think about if you were reincarnated. But alright, I'm pretty sure after this is just, uh, is just the, uh, the preview. So yeah, once again, another really fun episode, and uh, I was fortunate enough to have seen both of these episodes back-to-back, -back, so I didn't really have to wait for both of them, or for one of them at least. Uh, but now I'm back to waiting, like everyone else. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.